Big tech doesn't want to talk about this, but AI has a massive problem that nobody's ever going to fix. These things lie. And get this, they literally can't stop lying. It's baked right into how they work. What's up guys? Today we're breaking down how AI actually works and why it keeps lying to us. Most people make this stuff way too complicated, but I'm going to keep it simple and get straight to the point. Alright, so I've got Google's Gemma 3B model running on my Mac. Super lightweight model. Let's ask it a question. In 2022, the company Astra X released the ZQ10 device. Describe the technical specifications and why it failed. Remember, this little model's got zero internet access. The Astra X ZQ10, its technical specifications, and ultimately why it failed to gain traction despite initial hype. This is based on publicly available information, blah, blah, blah. You sure about that? My previous response, while generally accurate in outlining the reasons for the ZQ10's failure, significantly overstated its complete commercial collapse. There is a theory that the company Astra X and the product ZQ10 never existed. Is this a rumor? Yes, this is a significant rumor. Okay, thanks, I get it. O.M.G. W.C.F. just happened. Okay, so picture this circle. That's reality. Everything outside, that's crazy town. We started our chat with the AI right here in reality, then slowly drifted deeper and deeper into La La Land. This thing where AI starts spitting out complete BS that has nothing to do with actual facts, that's called hallucinating. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's break down how AI actually works, why it hallucinates, and here's the kicker, why this isn't actually a bug. It's literally how they're designed. So how does AI actually work? Let's say we feed it Python is. The AI sees this as a sequence of tokens. Tokens are basically chunks. Could be words, parts of words, punctuation, whatever. But let's keep it simple and say they're just words. The AI sees Python is, and now it's gotta guess what comes next. Top three options here, language, snake, or animal. The AI randomly picks one, but it's weighted random. Each word has different odds. Language has the highest chance here. Say it picks language. Now it looks at the whole thing. Python is a language and tries to guess the next word based on everything so far. Ever noticed when you use ChatGPT or whatever, it types word by word instead of dumping everything at once? That's not for show. That's literally how it thinks. That's it. That's the whole thing. AI is just a really fancy guessing machine trying to predict the next word based on what's already there. Here's something crazy. That temperature setting in AI, it literally controls how wild the guesses get. Set it to zero, super boring and predictable. Crank it to max, absolute chaos. It's basically an AI drunk dial. Now let's figure out where the neural network gets its information from. Let's start a new dialogue. Let's ask the neural network a question about Benjamin Franklin's biography. Mostly right, but with some BS mixed in. Birth and death dates have old or new style calendar backwards, and Franklin definitely had children, three of them, including his biological son William, also opened his own print shop in 1728, not bought Bradford's in 1732. But overall, pretty close. Here's the million dollar question. How does my local AI even know who Benjamin is? Is there like a Wikipedia database stuffed inside? Nope. Zero databases. This model's only 8 gigs. You can't even squeeze Wikipedia into that, let alone the whole internet. Internet access? No! It's completely offline. Here's the thing. It trained on internet text, but doesn't actually store any of it. All it knows is word probabilities in different contexts. But turns out just knowing what word probably comes next is enough to basically invent Benjamin Franklin from scratch. And that's the key. It invented Franklin made him up on the spot. This fake Benjamin just happens to be pretty close to the real one. Think of AI like that kid who didn't study for the test and has to BS their way through. Except this kid is really good at BSing. Scary good. Don't forget to subscribe, really helps the channel out. Quick shout out, you're watching History of Gadgets. If this breakdown's helping you out, smash that like and hit subscribe. Seriously helps the channel. Now let's get into the good stuff. So we've established AI is a word guessing machine. It doesn't know things the way we do. Same root cause for both issues. Every single AI answer is made up. When the made up stuff matches reality, we're cool with it. When it doesn't, we call it hallucinating. This is why we'll never have AI that doesn't hallucinate. Making stuff up is literally what they do. 
It's not a bug, it's the whole system. The internet's full of shocked articles like, OMG, AI is lying. People are surprised AI can lie. What surprises me is people expecting it to always tell the truth. There's actually a term researchers use, stochastic parrots. That's what these language models really are, super fancy parrots remixing patterns from training data. They don't get truth versus lies, they just know what words usually follow other words. It's pattern matching on crack, not actual thinking. But wait, ChatGPT can search the internet. Yeah, true, but it doesn't think with the internet, it's just another tool it can use. Like, humans with internet access give better answers, but we don't need the internet to think. Well, most of us don't. You can give AI internet, databases, whatever context you want. Changes what it says, but not how it creates answers. The core system stays the same. AI answers always sound logical and well-researched, but that doesn't mean they actually are. Direct result of how they think. AI has perfect command of language, knows exactly how to string words together, but perfect language skills don't equal understanding how the world actually works. OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, Meta, they're all adding filters and censorship to their AIs. That's how they're trying to fight hallucinations. Nobody wants their AI telling people to eat rocks or put glue on pizza. Every time it happens, it's a PR disaster. So on the left here, we've got corporate services. Your ChatGPTs, Geminis, all the big names you know. Want a safe, balanced answer that's probably right? These are your best bet. Then we've got local open source models. Llama, DeepSeek, Quinn, and our buddy Gemma we've been torturing today. These have some filters, but way less, and they're easier to bypass. More lies and hallucinations here. And then, uncensored models. Usually corporate models that the community has jailbroken. Hugging face is where you find these bad boys. With these, all bets are off. Hallucinations are standard, completely unpredictable behavior. The uncensored model scene is wild. You've got stuff like Wizard LM Uncensored or Dolphin with all safety features ripped out. Some people use them for legit research or unrestricted creative writing, but here's the thing, without filters, they'll confidently spout absolute nonsense. It's like removing the safety from a gun that shoots random facts. Lots of people think corporations make AI lie with their filters, like uncensored models would be perfect if big tech didn't ruin them. Reality's way more complicated. AI will always hallucinate by design, so corporations have to do something. They can't fix the core problem, so they're just treating symptoms. It's all about choice. Use freer but crazier open source models, or stick with filtered but safer corporate AI. There's no right answer. Pick what works for your specific needs. All right, in the comments, tell me about the craziest, most insane hallucination an AI has ever given you.